Hello everyone, welcome to Scalp Acupuncture 2, presented by Lamp Acuwellness Foundation, Inc. Topics, brain, which includes the cerebral hemispheres, cerebellum, and the brainstem. There are two large paired cerebral hemispheres immediately below the skull cup. Each hemisphere is divided into four lobes. The frontal lobe, temporal lobe, parietal lobe, and occipital lobe. The lobes are divided from each other by gyri and sulci of the cerebral hemispheres. The frontal lobe. This lobe extends from the front pole of the brain to the central sulcus, the precentral gyrus, the superior middle and inferior frontal gyri and the sulci between them. Parietal lobe. This lobe is located behind the central sulcus and includes the post-central gyrus, the superior and inferior parietal lobules, the supramarginal and angular gyri, and the sulci between them. Temporal lobe. This lobe is located on the inferior and lateral part of cerebral hemispheres, including the superior, middle, and inferior temporal lobes, as well as the sulci between them. Occipital lobe. This lobe extends from the parietal occipital sulcus to the occipital pole. There are no individual gyri on the lateral surface of the occipital lobe. Functions The cerebral cortex is a layer of gray matter where many of the nerve cells of the cerebral hemisphere are located. Different parts of the cerebral cortex have specific functions and are concerned with different parts of the body. Motor center, the primary motor cortex, located at the precentral gyrus for initiating voluntary movements. Sensory center, or the somatosensory cortex, located at the post-central gyrus for the recognition of sensations from the skin, muscles, and joints. In both motor and sensory areas, the lower limb is represented on the upper medial side of the hemisphere. The upper limb is represented on the lower lateral surface of the hemisphere. The face, tongue, and larynx area are represented on the lowest part of the hemisphere. The body is represented essentially upside down on the hemisphere, and each cortex primarily controls the opposite side of the body. Sight Located at the calcarine sulcus of the occipital lobe. Hearing, located below the lateral sulcus on the upper surface of the temporal lobe. Smell, located around the parahippocampal gyrus. Taste, located at the lower part of the post-central gyrus, close to the temporal lobe. Internal organ activities, located at the gyrus cingulae and parahippocampal gyrus area of the medial side of the hemisphere. Activities include breathing, blood pressure regulation, digestion, pupillary reaction, bladder function, and sexual activities. Eye movements, located at the posterior part of the middle frontal gyrus 
of the frontal lobe. Balance, located at the lower part of the postcentral gyrus and the anterior of the superior temporal gyrus. Motor speech, located at the posterior part of the inferior frontal gyrus and able to coordinate the muscles used in speech, such as the lips, tongue, and pharynx, larynx. When injured, the patient is unable to speak due to decreased function of these muscles. Sensory speech, located at the back of the superior temporal gyrus. When injured, the patient is able to hear others but cannot understand the words. Reading center, located at the angular gyrus of the parietal lobe. This center enables the individual to understand written words. If injured, the patient has no problem seeing the words, but is unable to understand their meaning. It is the loss of the ability to read. Writing, located at the posterior part of the middle frontal gyrus of the frontal lobe. If injured, the patient's hand muscles are normal, but the patient is unable to write and perform refined movements, thus losing the ability to write. Cerebellum. The cerebellum is located immediately below the posterior portions of the cerebral hemispheres. It lies in the posterior cranial fossa. No cranial nerve directly attaches to the cerebellum. The functions of the cerebellum include maintaining balance and controlling the contraction of voluntary muscles, especially the timing and strength of contractions of various muscles for smooth movement. Damage to the cerebellum will result in disturbances of voluntary movement. Brainstem. The cerebral hemisphere and cerebellum hide the brainstem. The brainstem contains the midbrain, pons, medulla oblongata, and third and fourth ventricles that extend to the spinal cord. There are many motor and sensory nuclei and cranial nerves attached to the brainstem. The brainstem is an important part of the vital center. Thank you very much for your attention and see you on our next videos.